Fly a fair nation. Fly a fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. Um, first things first, before I even start talking about anything gay or anything related. First things first, I'm the release. Yeah, this guy's here again. We uh, introduce yourself. What's your name? Badman Road Dog, Yazid. Um, Godman 32, Yazid. Zeke. Where to go? <sighs> that Lou. Three, Godman 33. <laughs> Um, yeah, light skin <laughs> records, whatever. So, did you hear about the egg recall? Uh, no. No? I don't even know what is that. What? They recalled like 200 million eggs. Goma? Okay, so since you don't know, start from the beginning. On Sunday, Rose Acres Farms recalled 200 plus million. I see some that say 206 million, 207 million, but I'm just saying 200 plus because the numbers are varying out there. So you heard nothing about this. Mm-mm. Okay. Well, there's a farm in Indiana, Rose Acres, who recalled all the eggs because apparently like Sunday or sometime last week, like 22 cases of illnesses came up in North Carolina in regards. And I guess they're tracing it back to salmonella and eggs and whatever. But um, yeah, like they recalled all the eggs and they're saying that basically... Every state on the East Coast just about is on the lookout because the eggs are distributed to like Walmart and Food Lion and a couple other stores that are, you know, big name, low price eggs, whatever. And a lot of people was talking shit like, oh, yeah, as long as Publix isn't on the list, whatever, whatever. But I checked again today and Publix made its way on the list. (laughs) So, (laughs) yeah, but they're saying now that there's a distributor in North Carolina that's also recalling their eggs. And they're the ones that distribute to Publix and some other stores, Sundown, something. I have the list further down here. But apparently it's due to like infestation mm-hmm. <laughs> your I'm face right now this. i know your face right now is like wait to tell me more but right, before i could yeah yeah but one of the articles said that government inspectors found rodents scurrying in manure pits ew equipment that was coated with grime and food debris and outside there was a swarm of large flying insects too numerous to count yeah, that's that's nasty. So the facility in Hyde County, North Carolina, that's the one where they found all that nasty shit going on. And the farm's pest control records basically flagged like an ongoing rodent problem, carcasses of baby mice and workers not properly, you know, following sanitary practices. There's a bunch of nasty shit going on, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, and they recall the eggs before anything could even, like, happen to them, like, before them get shut down or anything like that. They sent out the recall for the eggs. But, I mean, 22 cases of illnesses came up before they, you know what I'm saying, before something happened to it. So, I don't know. Like, me personally, I love egg. And they were saying something like people eat, like, two, at least 230-something eggs per year. Mm-hmm. So, like, you can imagine how much people that could possibly affect. And, like, I'm literally, states from New York all the way down to Florida are on the list of states that need to watch out for, you know, be on lookout for these eggs from these places. That's crazy because just the description of what happened, mm-hmm. now I don't want to eat uh, eggs anymore. Because <laughs> it's already bad that I don't eat meat, so... And that's the reason because I don't like the way they produce the food and mm-hmm. the way you know they they raising the foods and stuff like that. So the- it's funny on the topic of producing the food. I remember when I first came here from Jamaica. Because me personally, I like my eggs with the yolk a little bit runny. I like it soft. I don't Ew. like hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> That's some old I, people. Them old people I in was the raised islands. with my granny. <laughs> yeah, see, see, told you. <laughs> my granny raised me, so uh, what do you expect? Told I you. Like, some old I like, people. <laughs> when my eggs are boiled, I like the yolk to be soft or a little bit runny. I like it fried with a little, like, you know? So when I first came here, my first time eating eggs here, my mom literally sat me down. She was like, how you want your eggs? And I was like, oh, I want it boiled, but I know some people like it hard. So I'm like... I want it kind of kind of soft. And she's like, she literally looked me dead in my face and was like, you can't do that. And I was like, what? Because mind you now, I lived in Kingston, but I also lived in Portland. My next door neighbor had a chicken coop. So I know that the egg come out of the chicken. <laughs> so you mean like, she basically told me that the eggs are manufactured and you have to cook it thoroughly. So otherwise you don't get sick because you can't eat them, you know, partially cooked here. And I was like... 
Mm-hmm. Now, every time I go home, I make sure I get my eggs how I like it. But that was like my first red flag with eggs in America to begin with. And I don't even eat me- eggs as much as I like to because first of, of all, that. I don't trust nothing wrong. <laughs> Well, nothing yeah. everything I eat has to be close to burnt like right Fact. before burnt <laughs> <laughs> like, that level right before burnt okay yeah and yeah. even the fruits and vegetables because last week when I was with my dad he I told you how he like basically like shot me down with reality because he saw me wash an apple like with soap and he was like the chemical is already in it and I was just like what Thanks, Dad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's true, but shit, man. Like, whatever they spray on it, it's not just for the coating. It's for the longevity of the fruits. Like, that's why you don't see worm in none of the fruits in America. Like, they can sit on the shelf and they get bad. If anything, they get brown. Look, a ginger fly fly around. But you, I've never in... It's going to be 20 years <laughs> come June that I've been in this country. And I've never seen a worm in nothing. Even people who have mango tree, the mango drop outside. I don't see no worm if they sit in there from God knows when and rotten and spoiling. None of that. that. Like that reality scares me because that's why you see all these 12 year olds that got breasts and everything that look like, you know, they 30 odd years old. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Back to the egg something. Yeah, e- oh, no, but ahead. even the kids in uh, middle school and, mm-hmm. and stuff, like, when I was in middle school, I wasn't that big. Sure Them wasn't. kids is ready to go <laughs> in the NFL mm-hmm. right now. Facts. Like right now. Them kids is ready. <laughs> yeah, them boys is like six foot tall, big swole, like twelve years. What? What do you mean you twelve? Like, how are you so tall? Like, what are you eating? <laughs> like that's I'm not fighting one of them kids in the seventh grade, okay? <laughs> All right. I'm telling you, that's real. But nah, go ahead, go ahead. Um, okay, so basically if you live in these states, like these are the states that are on the list. It's Colorado, Florida. Right. New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, which that's where all the incidents happened, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Virginia, and West Virginia. So if you live in any of those states, like basically the whole Ross East Coast Mm -hmm. is on this list. Like (laughs) just be careful buying eggs. And specifically with, you know, the brand names Coburn Farms, Country Daybreak, Crystal Farms, Food Lion, Great Value, which is Walmart brand. <laughs> Nelms, Sunshine Farms, all of those brands like are getting eggs from that specific farm. So just don't buy them. If you already have them, go check your fridge. They have a couple plant numbers on here. P1065, anything from 11 through 102, P131590. Like I said, you know, do your Googles, figure out what's what. If you don't feel safe or none of the set, just bring it back, dash it away. Like, just... <laughs> Just don't eat it. Like, like I have eggs in my fridge right now. I'm just like, why? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they have the ones that I saw, though, it said that if the best buy date is April 2nd to April 11th or something like that, I bought my eggs after that. So I think I might be OK. But yeah, no, don't. No, nah, I'm throwing all that away. <laughs> I ain't eating none of that. If you got eggs in your fridge, I advise you to throw it out. Even if your, your, your state is not on the list, your city is not on, throw it out. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're on the East Coast, because, I mean, it didn't mention Georgia. So, I mean, and Georgia's smack dab in the middle of all of those states. So I don't understand why Georgia wasn't, wasn't on the list. But like I said, Google, maybe I didn't Google enough and I missed that. But new new locations are being added to it. Like just today I checked and Publix was added to it and that other store was added to it. So just be careful because salmonella poisoning, none of that stuff. You get diarrhea, fever, all kind of fuckery. None of that's not nice. So what? From go salmonella. Ahead, ahead, no, seriously, because some people are like, oh, I might can't risk it, you know, if I, whatever. And they have like shit online that tells you how to test the eggs and if it no, does certain it's, things. it's just the just... way Jamaicans give you Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jamaican. Don't judge bro. me. You Jamaican too, so bro, whatever. Crazy, man. Anyways, ahead. speaking of Jamaica, I know you don't care nothing about carnival, but for those who do, Jamaica carnival just passed. I I don't know why I didn't talk about this on the last episodes, but April eighth was Jamaica carnival. Listen, <laughs> I've been asking people all day how they pronounce this because I know how, you know, Jamaica is pronounced, obviously. But the name of the carnival road march something was Jamaica, Zymaica. It's X-A-Y-M-A-C-A. Somebody out there is going to correct me. Somebody's going to ask me where I come from, why I don't know how to pronounce this. But same how, you, how you spell it? X-A-Y-M-A-C-A. 
It's the original. Sp- okay, for those who aren't Jamaican or don't know the culture, all I know, all I know. I'm ask my baby Siri. Hold on, oh, Siri. God. Come, come, talk to them, Siri. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Siri. Siri doesn't even pronounce your name right. Yes, she do. That's no, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> See fuckery. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> you put C A M A C A. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it says Saimacha. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> One more time. Saimacha. Saimacha. That's probably wrong. That's yeah, that's wrong. yeah. I think it's Jamaica, which is the Spanish. That's how it's pronounced in Spanish countries. Like, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. So did you you look this up before you came? I didn't look show? up the pronunciation of Why it. Why not? Because I like to be ignorant sometimes. I like for people to correct me. If you y'all know, know better, I appreciate you for saying that because somebody would have ate you alive listening to this episode. Suck their mama. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Anyways. Go ahead. Because it's pointless talk, so I'm not going to pretend I know something when I don't. I don't know how to properly pronounce it, but well, we I know what it, it is. And I know... Well, you're telling me to go on YouTube and all this, and you know I hate YouTube. But <laughs> anyways... You'll learn the history of it. But but I do know the history of it. I just don't know how to pronounce it. I feel like it is Jamaica, though, because, you know, it's back when Columbus and them come, the early inhabitants or whatever are the ones that call it that because it stands for food and land. No, lie, 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 lie. Wood and water. Yeah, land of wood and water. That's what it means. But, you know, after the British people, them come and whatever, whatever, somewhere along the line, they change it from Jamaica, Zymaica, whichever one. If y'all have another one, y'all can chip in suggestions. <laughs> so where did the name come from? It, 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 it birthed in Jamaica? Yeah, early, it, the article says, early inhabitants of Jamaica named the land Zymaica, Jamaica, whatever, meaning land of wood and water. Okay. Yeah. So that's, you know, then. There's people who was there before Columbus came, of course, because he didn't discover nothing. And that's what they were calling it then. So somewhere along the lines, it evolved into what it was. Then the British people came and did what they did and whatever. So, but anyways, back to Carnival, though. A lot of people, <laughs> I saw a lot of things online where people was talking shit about Carnival in Jamaica because, you know, Jamaicans don't listen to soca. Jamaica Jamaica don't know nothing about soca. Jamaica don't know nothing about Carnival, masquerade, none of that. And <laughs> it just blows me because I'm like, Carnival been happening in Jamaica for decades. Mm-hmm. Decades. I know stories my mother told me of me being at Carnival in diapers. Like, like I said, I've been here 20 years. So this is before I came here. I was in Jamaica at Carnival. So I see a lot of people with ignorance talking about myself. Oh, Jamaicans know nothing about Carnival. And then a lot of people, too, were talking about how everybody was naked. And I'm like, have y'all ever seen a road march? Have y'all ever seen a masquerade band? Like, what were they supposed to have on a burqa? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? But... A lot of that was going on. And then the thing about with the Jamaica thing, this is their second na- second year doing it under that title. I think the problem that a lot of people were having with it is because it was so fucking big. Jamaica came and said, fuck the rest of the dashwe and just showed out because, you know, I, I sound like a Jamaican right now. <laughs> but- uh, first of all, to be clear, mm-hmm. it's OK to not be the king and queens of something because Jamaica, for, for some reason, and we feel like we have to rule everything. We have to run. No. Every, yes, that's why you you carrying on like that. No, no growing no, no. up, <laughs> growing up, I ain't never went to. Uh, um, I never went to Carnival. Not that I can remember, but my mom says she went to Carnival, and I'm sure. Yes, there's Carnival in Jamaica. We'll be uh, stupid uh, and ignorant to say there's not Carnival in Jamaica. But a lot but, of people say that, though. Yeah, but that's ignorant people. Why mm-hmm. we keep acknowledging uh, acknowledging uh, um, ignorant people? Because it's a thought, though. It's something that happens, and it's not one person. It's not two people. So we a lot kill of everybody people, for every thought. I'm not saying you're gonna kill everybody for every thought, but it's a very common misconception that Jamaicans don't like soca. It's a very common misconception mm-hmm. because yes, there we are don't. there it's are most, a lot of Jamaicans that don't like soca. Most. But when you watch the turnout of Jamaica Carnival, we're not coming out for and soca. Even and even without that, though, when you go to any other carnival, how much Jamaican flags do you see? You see, you're having two different arguments. 
Jamaicans, Caribbean people, period. But okay, Jamaicans, we just like to party. Okay. We like to have, we like to party. We like bashment. We like all of that. So when we go to carnival, we're not going to carnival for quote unquote just soca. No. You're going to hear a bunch of cartel. You're going to hear a bunch of uh, uh, Movado. You're going to hear a bunch of uh, uh, alkaline. That's your, that's your, not as much when you go to these uh, um, Trinidad carnivals. If you go to these Grenadas, they play dance you go there to, too. But it's not as much. That's but, what I'm saying. But we are Jamaican. And dance our music-, music demands our carnival. But carnival is really what's supposed to be about soca, right? Okay. Right? The fet. Okay. De- what mm-hmm. I'm saying is in Jamaica, dancehall still uh, dominate our carnival. So, quote unquote, we're not the leader of the pack. And that's okay. If it's Trini, if it's Brazil, if it's whoever, that's okay. We got dancehall. We got reggae music. We got the food. We got everything. Like. Ooh. <laughs> and you know it's crazy because remember Linky first was talking about him the other day the uh, Jamaican soca artist who reached was it 10 million right yeah. and he's Jamaican yes and everybody was bunning him out saying oh there's no way that he you know we got the dancing and the, all the dancing <laughs> stuff comes from Jamaica like I'm being real but I know carnival is their thing like it, it I mean or soca I should say not carnival <laughs> Okay, but at the same time, though, my whole point still stands. They are still talking badly about the fact that Jamaica had carnival. And my take on it is, yes, you're right. They're ignorant to think that carnival never happened in Jamaica. But at the same time, I believe that part of that hate and everything Man, is three because... Years ago- Puss and fall, I got Jamaican carnival. Nobody not go there, so. But I'm saying, though, <laughs> in, <laughs> in... I feel like the whole blow up about it right now is because it was so big. I don't know if you've seen any of the pictures of the costumes or any of the pictures in the videos from the road march. Those costumes were lit. The freaking... Because Jamaicans is extra and we said, no, we not get left. We have to up the thing. Oh, so beautiful. We have, to, we have to up the thing. We not gonna get left. And yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. Okay. I mean, I can't argue with you on that. That's right. I mean, but at the same time, if people didn't like, and people, if Jamaicans didn't like soca, carnival wouldn't happen. Period. Because the whole foundation of carnival is soca. Of course, we are Jamaicans. Our music is reggae, dancehall, whatever. We are going to play a lot of reggae, dancehall. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be our music incorporated in it also. But we can still dash out. We can still do all of that. We can still whine. We can still do all of these things that soca demands. So it's not like it's a dance hall party in masquerade. That's not what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it's it's carnival. Stop let carnival be carnival and leave it alone. Cause carnival is carnival, but the way Jamaicans <laughs> I am Jamaican, I wanna born go. and raised, the way we trying to come and just muscle carnival away from everybody and say you are rerun it <laughs> it's ours now it's not fair let no. the people um, you know because think about it trinidad every year even though it's different times but every year trinidad i'm sure they look forward to the big outcome of carnival for That's their country, right I, right i understand but no but trinidad people fly to Trinidad. Mm-hmm. They they book their tickets and mm-hmm. they, they go to Trinidad. A lot of people from here is not necessarily flying to Brazil to go to a Brazil. Well, like, kind of because Brazil Carnival is pretty big too. I know. I know. But I'm just saying the cheaper route is to go to Trinidad Carnival. Cheaper? Cheaper you don't says think who? So? You know how much they masquerade outfit well, is? No, I'm talking about the ticket alone. Oh, I know. the ticket, sure. Anywhere maybe. you go, the 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 the, the no. outfits no, y'all no, wear. No, 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 no. The prices for Trinidad are up there. Trinidad and where the next one named Caribana, the one in Toronto. Mm. That those tickets, you could pay rent, <laughs> phone bill, <laughs> all type of fuckery with them ticket prices. For, and that's for like frontline, even backline prices are like. Seven hundred dollars for I'm like yeah. for backline, and I know y'all Jamaicans gonna say I'm a sellout. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said it first. <laughs> you hear it first. <laughs> well, I'm just keeping it a hundred, okay? <laughs> I'm keeping it a hundred with y'all. We gotta run everything. We have to rule everything. So are we still a win? Yes. <laughs> As soon as we start going to carnival, people start shooting places. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. All right. 
Mm. Don't even. Back to you, pointless. Don't even. But, okay, we can let all that run or whatever, but I'm always going to defend Jamaica, so you, we can't have this conversation. We're going to have to agree to disagree because... Because you ain't disagree with me yet. As soon as Jamaicans start showing up to... First of all, uh, Idonia, they got a picture oh. of Idonia with a big dirty Hennessy buckle. <laughs> Yes, I said. A big dirty energy I clad with them. At least it wasn't Ray a nephew. What other carnival? You see pictures. You see pictures with people dancing on people, bubbling and all of that. But Jamaicans, no, no, we got to show no, no, up. No, no, hold on. Jamaicans, we have to show up with our flask. Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, wait, wait, Carl. A flask, a, a thing of ice, some some Heineken and them thing right in them on them foot. <laughs> you stay on the road with liquor, though. That makes sense. Sense. They give you cups that they refill at the mm. truck. Man, whatever. You don't fit. So don't I don't even. I don't. But no, on the topic of Idonia, his wife was there in full masquerade too. So you can't even say nothing about them. Most Jamaican men probably don't really want to be in costume and masquerade because they don't want to wear no glitter and That's no what I am saying. Okay, so you're making my case for me. How can we be the leader of the pack if the, the, the Jamaican men think... is not dressing up in that shit? Because I know I'm not dressing up in that. Why not? I'm not. I'm just not. Mm. I'm just not. My thing is, I don't feel like we are trying to be the leader of the pack. It is something that we have been doing for a while, and it just became bigger. It is more noticed. It got more attention. No. And you sound like all the other islands. Soka, Hold on. Soka start you getting like- hot. Soka, Soka always been Soka hot. Soka start getting bigger than... No, Soka started getting bigger than Danso. Nobody no bigger than Kata. What y'all Soka talking about? Star- no, no, nothing ain't bigger than Kata. <laughs> but... Soka started getting bigger than Danso. Cartel got locked up. Soka what artists them seen a lane, right? And they took it. And, and a Jamaican and a Jamaican is doing Soka and his shit selling off and they hating about that too. But at the same time, we still do it. It's I don't You you really think Soka is bigger than Danso right now? Yes. I go to the party. I go to the parties and majority of the night they're playing soca. Which, which parties and are you these, going to? <laughs> Who is on the bill when you go to the parties Man, though? Man, listen, listen. That's even, the thing. Even the Badman DJ them we used to play the North Cartel, them Afi can find to the woman them now. And the woman them say, yo, I them want to hear the soca. We want, <laughs> no, women want to hear a wine in tune. That's what we want to hear. We want to dance, point blank period. It's nothing about soca or whatever. But if you go into a dance hall party, right? If you go into a hip hop party, you're gonna, they're going to play a mixture of everything because they still play fucking swag surf at every fucking party. I don't know why. And it's still the same thing. Like you go to uh, one of them, wait, bad man DJ, you want to call them? And of course they're going to mix in a little soca. They're going to mix in some R&B, or not really R&B, but like hip hop, rap, whatever. But it's still you find a Gaza tune, them, and you find a Badman tune, and all them something there, and they have to mix it in. But you can't say that Soka is dashing away um, dance all because look, Ding Dong still a make song for the dance. First of all, I want you to understand that I hate Soka, and everybody that's listening, <laughs> I want y'all to understand that I hate Soka. <laughs> With a passion, with a passion, okay? Remember Capital P, a- with a passion. I hate it. I love when the girls wind up and dance to it. You know what I mean? I say, I love the costumes and all of that, but the music is trash. Unless it's Sawfish by Skinny Bantan, that's fire. <laughs> um, um, Party done, party done. That song is fire. They play um, that shit out. What else? That's it. Everything else to me is literally trash you like some jab jab so okay some jab jab so with that being said for me to say soka is taking over and and moving dance all to the side right now just for right now because it's not gonna last forever you know the whiny whiny thing not gonna last forever you know? women are always gonna you know want to whine and bubble and catch and because okay on the subject of that I feel like it's always going to be relevant to have music for women to dance to. Of course. Because at the end of the day, we can't dance to Gun Manchun. When you see these... What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? What do I mean? You know, see what I What do you mean? Tree finger. Woman. You got party for you, a man, stand up, a, a, a bus can bus, gun? Woman can't bust gun to. Woman can't bust gun Let's to. Let's be realistic. What do you mean? Let's be realistic. You don't go to a party to go bust gun the whole night. You want a whole bunch of niggas stand up in the corner busting gun? That's what you go to a party for? And beat up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you 
sound like you're in the middle of a fucking fight. Like, son, no. Y'all go <laughs> to the parties because y'all go try and find a girl y'all can dance on and probably take home later or whatever, whatever. And girls, we go to go party, have fun, enjoy ourselves, wine, look a bit, look after the stress, and, you know, carry on. We not go in there. Okay, gunman tune is fine here and there, but the whole night, we don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that for two hours at a party. Y'all can play cartel from now till Jesus come. And Well, cartel got a mixture of everything. So I know, but I'm just saying, y'all can play cartel play. and all of that from now till Jesus come. But at the end of the day, it's not about what you can play. It's what makes sense for the crowd that you have. If you have, like, a party full of women... You playing a bunch of what are you sang one of them cartel song them whatever like that, all I'm saying is when I Gaza, go out Gaza, Gaza. when I do go <laughs> when I do go out I hear a lot more soca nowadays usually in Miami you would hear so a lot more soca music around soca season but like in Miami year round no they see what I said <laughs> in Miami but also keep in mind though. Usually around like this time of year, also you hear soca because Trinidad Carnival is February, right? People like to get the warm up for February because a lot of DJs, like the big name DJs, especially if they play soca predominantly, like Dream Team and things like that, they fly out to Trinidad. So they give you like the carnival warm ups and they do all that stuff and they drop the new carnival tunes. And this mm-hmm. is around the time when all the 2008 carnival mixes come out and they try to put you on so you have your body warm up and you're tuned in right and everything. So when you do go to carnival, you're not sitting there like, what song is this? Okay. Let me pull out. You know, you know? what I, What I'm going to do? I'm going to go out one of these weekends, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to record at least a good minute of e of of let me see i'm a, i'm gonna record five minutes of each dj and i'm gonna show you it's nothing but soca and i'm gonna play it on here i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna play it <laughs> right that's how we're gonna see i'm gonna play it and y'all gonna see it's nothing but soca still to this day okay usually it's closer to when when is miami carnival like october october so it's usually of around course. that time you know people flying down and etc cetera, etc cetera, the djs i'm coming everything you just said mm-hmm. is correct you know but it no trust me it wasn't this crazy it wasn't this crazy okay Mm-mm. so you're just saying that point blank period it's soca season like just this is, this is the time for soca. So yes, yes, yes. Soca okay. is here. They here. <laughs> and, I'm not, and I'm not a soca fan, and they here. So are you upset about this? No, no. You can't because you, it's easier for you to grab a girl and wind up. No, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so you know if you if, you're, if you, you're, you you shouldn't always grab a girl and wind up though because they might not want to wind with you. Well, you know what I mean. More <laughs> girls is winding up now in the clubs. Shay said it's more Afrobeat season. Nah, Afrobeat was last year. Yeah, Afrobeat, Afrobeat was last Afrobeat year. Afrobeat was last year. Afrobeat mm-hmm. was last year. Is Afrobeat still going on right mm-hmm. now? It's still going on, but Afrobeat really came and showed out last year. Yeah, it started it's, popping last year. It's been out. It, no, it started popping two years ago, mm-hmm. but last year everybody is when, started jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I mean, yeah. Because right. I've been an Afrobeat fan from before it got popular, but that's the thing. Soka is now popular, so all the Jamaican artists is now doing it busy been doing soca tunes <laughs> you know what i'm saying cartel he'll drop a soca tune here and there but everybody now is is jumping on the song mm, yeah <laughs> mm, i ain't mad at it okay well you know 420 is coming up and i don't know i feel like since i'm getting older it's more like it's just another day especially for people who actually smoke like regularly so when I see things where people are still quote unquote celebrating 420, I'm kind of looking at them like, yo, how old are you? Like, niggas did this like in high school. Like, I see people like, oh, happy 420, 420 is coming, whatever, whatever. Now, the tattoo artists, you know, that are doing their specials and everything, if you want to get a weed related tattoo or something, or if you want to come in on 420 and get a piercing, like that stuff, okay, I, I could jump in and go get a tattoo or a piercing, or whatever. But I personally, I don't smoke. So 420 doesn't mean shit to me, point blank, period. But for the people who do that, so celebrate, especially if you 20 plus, and especially if you live on your own, like, 
I don't get the hype behind that. Like, do you understand that? Or am I the only one that feels like that's... Well, I always felt like that. Um, But that's because I'm antisocial and I'm grumpy and I'm an old Uh, man and I'm the Grinch. So it's like I hate every holiday and everything that people celebrate. Like, I always find a reason to hate it. Even birthdays? (laughs) Even birthdays. Even birthdays. I find a reason to... uh, You're sad. uh, (laughs) Well... Well, on the topic of birthdays and 420, though. But no, but but to, to answer your question, though, I feel you. It's like, okay, I smoke the same amount of weed I would on a regular day. And I would on 420. Why am I going to go get extra high? Because Niggas be buying pounds for 420. 420. <laughs> why? Why? Why am I doing all of that for? To go smoke a bunch of people out or we go sit in a room and smoke? No, it's time to get grown. Let's start buying some land. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Let's, let's, yeah. <laughs> Let's start buying some land and grow the weed and supply the weed if that's the case. You understand? And not just to smoke it oh, and yeah. sell it illegally. <laughs> I'm talking about for medicine and things like that as well. Um, you buy the land and now that helps your community flourish. Oh, now you employ people. Now people is working for you or working. So listen, come on now. I call this 420 shit. Back okay. to you, point. <laughs> I touched a button. <laughs> well, well, no, I'm going to take the opportunity to speak on it. That it is uh, stupid. It, it's, it's stupid. You know, and all the all, and all the drug dealers, you know, they they do their 420 deals too. Right, right. All that good stuff. But <laughs> that don't mean I'm not going to still hit up my bub man for the deal. <laughs> I'm still going to hit him up for the deal. <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my gosh. But see, the thing is though, you don't smoke weed necessarily for recreational purposes the way that they do. I feel I like... I don't even smoke with people. I know, but I'm just saying, like, you're not one of those people, like, that I've noticed that you don't smoke to get high, like, necessarily. Like, you... I don't smoke to get over high. Okay. Over high, I don't... See, so you're not a zombie. A you're not a zombie when you smoke. You're not yeah. just, you know, experiencing dead space or whatever. Like, you're not yeah. that type of person. Because it's impossible to smoke and not get high unless it's just bush. Then you need to just stop. You're killing yourself. But, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't smoke. Like I said, I've never smoked weed. I don't know anything about this. So I... Yeah, there's an over high where you, you got that mean headache. Um shit you you got high sometime where you you would throw up <laughs> like, it's different kind of high uh you overheat really you know, the high where you overheat you you the best bet is to jump in the shower and i heard that makes you like sober up like if or is that other drugs is well no that's for everything if you oh. start overheating you know what i mean and things like that oh. um yeah you have different levels don't do drugs high. kids um but that's because Remember, you're smoking, and the smoke going to your brain. Don't so. do drugs, kids. Drugs are bad. No. <laughs> but back to where I was trying to go. Weed with is this. not a drug; it's a plant and an herb. Jesus, my... Yeah, so it's cocaine. But um, what I was saying, uh, Shaggy's supposed to be singing for Queen Elizabeth on her birthday, which I saw that, and I was just like. Really? And one of the articles was talking about how he's going to be swinging about banging banging on a sofa. Speaking of um, that Queen Elizabeth thing, uh, word is they didn't invite none of the the leaders of any of the countries to their wedding. Okay. No, that's dope. I think that's cool. Oh, I thought you were saying that was a problem. No, I think that's cool. I was just saying this and just, you know. Yeah, since it's the queen and everything. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see that article, but I mean, if you want to fill me in. No, no, that's all I know. That's oh, all that's I know. it. You know, I mean. I try, I try not to uh, dabble too much in white people business. I feel you. And my thing on that, too, is I always think it's interesting how every time something with the royal family happens they they invite everyone for, uh, you know what you think it's because they didn't want to invite that orange man they didn't want to make it seem like they invite everybody but him <laughs> I just thought about that wouldn't that be it like I feel like that might be it because usually you're right whenever they get married they invite you know, like you said the world leaders whatever the, world the presidents leaders, right? and prime ministers and everybody from each major country or even possibly all of them right. and it's a photo op it's celebrity foolishness whatever it's paparazzi none of these people really give a fuck about you it's all politics and business relations it's not nothing personal so (laughs) so you know what I'm saying like I think maybe that's why they didn't they didn't do that because nobody don't like him in real life message 
Anyways, so yeah, I think part of the reason that Shaggy is performing for her birthday is because his album, like I think I mentioned this on one of the previous episodes, him and Sting album come out this yep. weekend. Well, last weekend for those who aren't listening to the live episode, but on 420, his album comes out and I believe Sting is supposed to be there with him. So that is, you know... I guess a big yeah that is a big look for him though you that know you get to, yeah no, that's, that's a big a look great accomplishment yeah. man you, you gotta understand the man when when I hear things like that and and to be on a serious side when I hear things like that I automatically go back to the origin of the person and the origin mm-hmm. of where they come from we come from Jamaica yep you understand what I'm saying Jamaica you're not saying there's not good parts of Jamaica um, and I'm not sure where Shaggy's from but I think he's from you know the Gazas the, the hoods and the schemes and the gullies of Jamaica so and e- even if you come from the good side of Jamaica it's still Jamaica mm-hmm. at the end of the day we're you still know technically saying? considered a quote unquote third the, world country right so right the the fact that you get to you're on this platform you're in this level of your career after being in the game for so long yeah. also like singing for the queen is a big step like yeah. you know what i'm saying Especially, but even before even before he gets to his career mm-hmm. for some reason i don't know it always my mind always go back to this like how this person you know walk into the store as a child to to, to get something mm-hmm. or you know going to school and their experience and mm-hmm. and their life that they they lived and you know if that person was poor and what obstacles and and uh tribulations and things that mm-hmm. they had to go through to reach that level yeah you know what i mean like that's the, oh man yeah as they always said better must come so i mean shout out to shaggy shout out to you know what I'm saying? everybody that's out here doing what they do doing what they love especially like to be able to achieve greatness in a field that you love is like the greatest accomplishment in my opinion because you can study hard and go to school for something that it make money but you don't necessarily care about it but there's no better feeling than actually loving what you do and succeeding at it. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. you know, big ups to Shaggy, you know. And you can, you, you, you can, things that you can do in foreign to make a little bit of money and and to try to get on your feet it's harder to do that in Jamaica mm-hmm. so a person like me that do videography and certain different things like that when when uh, when something comes my way I'm very grateful like my cameras I'm very grateful would it be just as easy what well, it wasn't easy getting my camera well, would it be j- what well, would it be just as easy getting a camera in Jamaica I get what you're saying because also the the outlets to purchase these items on top of that. That's what I'm That's, saying. Yeah, so, and then, you know, the shipment to get it there, even if you're ordering it from abroad or whatever the case is. And it's just so many factors that go into it that I completely understand what you're saying. Getting an app, to yeah. download an app, to get a deal mm-hmm. on a, a, on equipment. Um, like, it's so many different things. Yeah, like, I mean, and even... Who's giving away a camera in Jamaica or giving away yes. anything in Jamaica? Nothing free. You, you, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Not yeah. to say things is free here in foreign, but you can probably more or less find an old man on on um Craigslist or somebody yeah. on Craigslist that's trying to sell something. Yeah, you ain't got that in Jamaica. Yeah, for those who don't know, foreign means America. <laughs> 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 but that's it's true what you're saying because you know we have Craigslist and we have Let Go we have Wish we have all these websites where you can find they have even Goodwill because Goodwill Salvation all these places where you can find even if it's a vintage camera or something else mm-hmm. cameras that are in good use that's what that, I'm saying yeah like people who are old time photographers old time videographers that no longer use these items that are like you know I'm upgrading my equipment or whatever and I sell it to you for 50% off 75% off whatever they, mm-hmm. damn near give it away and and you know, so all my that- mom had a camera just laying around the house. Yeah, I think that's how I started shooting. Like, I, that's literally how I started shooting. Like, who's gonna have a camera just laying around the yeah. house in Jamaica? Yeah, unless it's like a point and shoot something or like a little film camera, like that's a thirty-five be a, millimeter, a nineteen ninety-six. Um, what's like them, a dash one? Yeah. Oh no, don't sleep on Polaroids. <laughs> I listen. If anyone know where I can get a Polaroid for the low, let me know a Polaroid camera because them things. Yeah, are but you say. That, you're saying that now yeah but back then it was more of a throwaway type of thing because you know everybody it was it wasn't a collectible yeah it wasn't a collectible now it's a collectible because Polaroid got bought out the brand itself got bought out as far as cameras go mm-hmm. and even like the instant film and everything of that sort everybody kind of have instant film now too but me 
I'm a photographer. I love the whole craft art form of photography. So you want to talk to me about large format, anything of that sort, Polaroids, all of that. I'm down for it. Even but, schools, even schools yeah. for 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 video production and things like that is very scarce. And mm-hmm. then to come up with the money to go to these mm-hmm. schools and and certain things like that. And it's like something that, that's not respected too and, as a career. Right, and that's a whole nother thing yeah, right there too. Huh. If you're in the video production, maybe it's a little bit different now. But back then, it was harder for a kid to be like, yeah, I want to shoot videos or I want to do this, especially being Caribbean, mm-hmm. because they think, okay, I just well, want you to be a doctor. I want you to be a teacher. I want you to go to school and do this. Be a nurse. Be a lawyer. Be a nurse for the for the girls is to be a nurse. Men a RN. And <laughs> this, that, and the third. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, but now maybe it's a little bit more acceptable and, I mean, and things like that. Speaking from just barely 10 years ago, when I went to school for, Jesus, I'm sure my age, uh, when I went to school for photography, my parents still wasn't, my parents are still not with photography. And they, well, my mother has seen my work and my mother knows that I do good shit. She has stuff hanging in her house. But still to this day, it's not something that she would literally be like completely okay with. Now, when the money start rolling, how the money's supposed to start rolling, then she might be like, all right, that's, fine. That's Caribbean people. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Because their whole mindset, like I've said before on the show, Can't blame is them, it has to be something that is lucrative and brings you residual income. Like you always have to have something that's in demand. And I don't understand why they don't realize that videography photography that those are things that are always in demand yes everybody have a camera phone yes everybody have this but when you're talking about on a higher scale look how much red carpet event look how much video shoots look how much yeah, models but, but and this that want, and the next what the thing for them is uh, not to cut you off but the thing for them is they don't want you to struggle mm-hmm. and they don't want the, and they know that right there is a struggle but because it goes back to what we were just talking about with Shaggy and at first, the first thing that come to mind is how did he ra- was raised in Jamaica, yeah. his his upbringing. That's the same thing that goes for them. In their mind, they like, damn, we escaped Jamaica. <laughs> yeah. We escaped Panama. Oh, we escaped Lord. Cuba. We escaped this place. We come into the quote-unquote land of the free, the land of opportunities, quote-unquote. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So they don't want you to go down that road yeah. that they went down. Yeah. So I don't blame them. But now... The millennials now, I don't think we we can complain about that no more because the millennials now, they taking their destiny in their own hands yeah. and they're buying their own cameras. Yeah. They're buying their own lights and they're buying whatever they need and they're shooting they stuff. Even on their iPhones, they have lens for your yes. iPhone. Yes. I, I go on YouTube. I live on YouTube. There's kids that literally shoot short films on their iPhones and I told edit you, it. I saw a, photo- a guy that calls himself a photographer who literally does all his shoots via his iPhone. I think he said that he was posting on Instagram and he was tashing, um, hashtagging Apple on everything or whatever. They end up sponsoring him. Him. So they done bought him. Literally every product that comes out for Apple, as far as photography goes, they mm-hmm. send that shit straight to his but house. But Apple had a campaign. Um, Apple actually had a campaign where <laughs> they would they the you can submit your photo that you take with your phone, uh-huh. and they'll put it up on like a big billboard uh-huh. and things like that. Yeah, but he and had they would like say shot by huh. whoever. Yeah, big huge billboard, big as this wall, like it's oh, okay. huge. And yeah, it would say shot by. Uh, your name and then with iPhone or whatever oh, the case may be. That's yeah. nice. But no, my guy was telling me though that he is in a gallery in New York. Like his, and I was looking at his work, his shit looks good. But yeah. me personally, knowing what I know, especially as far as photography goes, I personally cannot respect you as a photographer if you tell me literally hold up your phone, tap the screen two times, let it focus, and press the, the friggin' button. And well, that's how you take the picture. Well, I think, well, if I'm not mistaken, I think they do have certain apps and certain things when you like mm-hmm. download the, um, the le- when you when you buy the lens and certain things like that. I think you do have apps that you, you can. Just download. like you will not accept sex toys, I refuse to accept Excuse camera me. phone pictures. Okay, you can't tell me that a camera phone picture like it looks nah, good. It's the I'm not for me. I'm it's... not saying it looks good. My thing is the war. I like I said, I'm one of those like photography freaks. Like I love the process of creating a photograph, the process of controlling the light to make sure that the picture is the right gradient. The picture You're is get left focused. Behind. Not necessarily because I know because. 
I feel that way. And in my heart of hearts, I want to shoot film. I don't want to shoot digital. I want to shoot film. Like if you can give me a dark room right now, I will never pick up a digital camera ever again. But I know that, like you said, I will get left behind if I don't grow with the times. But at the same time, digital cameras do this also. First of all, this is pointless talks. A Caribbean LGBT oh podcast. Okay, this is not uh <laughs> well film, it's it's film pointless and talk photography. and pointless is talking about what the what she wants. I just messed with you. I just with you. <laughs> but because we I went. didn't realize that we in a very nerdy <laughs> A very nerdy conversation about care. videography and photography <laughs> right now. But that's so. that's where my passion is, as far as you know, y'all didn't realize. That's, okay, so to bring it back that. full circle, sorry y'all, to bring it back full circle, Shaggy is about to perform for, for the, the Queen, the queen of, England. of England with mm-hmm. Sting. Anything else for you wanted birthday, to add to that? Their album comes out 420. Yay, go them. Big up Shaggy. That's that. Okay. We got one last topic before we wrap this up. <laughs> and I don't even want to consider this a win. I don't want to big it up. I don't want to give any like props to this because my whole opinion behind this is like, what the f- like, what is this world coming to? So, <sighs> Black man, Black are you familiar man, with gay man, conversion man. therapy? No, you know I don't know nothing about this. Well, you've stuff. never heard of like how they give like shock treatment, like psychology, old school. Well, I oh wait, say old so school. when they try to kind of like. Is that is that another way of praying the gay out of you type of thing? Yeah, but it's literally like a therapy session where they like... So I get it now. I get it. I get it. So go ahead. Continue. Okay. So... <laughs> so it's just been banned in Washington State. To do what? It's no longer legal to do gay conversion therapy okay. in Washington State. This makes it, what, the ninth state that has made it illegal? Out of 50 states? Why, why, why? Why what? Why are they making it illegal? What the fuck do you mean? Why do they make it illegal? Dog, you're literally... Some of the practices that they do for this Mm -hmm. is shock therapy. Mm -hmm. So they literally do electric shock therapy where they strap you down to some shit and they electrocute you and try to say, this is... Are you gay? Yes, shock. So so, so it's like a... um, So you're a guinea pig type of thing. Yes. Yes, but... For, I don't know if anyone has seen the. Well, wait, but no, but this is this. You can't just put that out there. We need more information. I know, so, but I was gonna speak so, on it. Go ahead. Okay, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know if anyone has seen. I believe I mentioned this also before the movie, but I'm a cheerleader. No. Well, I know you have it, but I'm saying anyone listening, because you're not the only person I'm talking to, but there's this movie called But I'm a Cheerleader. It's basically a movie about a cheerleader who's gay, or they think she's gay, or she's experiencing gay feelings or whatever. And, well, no, she's in denial, actually, that she's gay, and everyone thinks she is. She gets sent to this camp, right? It's a gay conversion therapy like camp. It's a, And these things exist in America in real life. Like, this shit is real. They sent her to this camp, and they're basically giving you all of these, like, images, and, you know, they do, like, the... Um, I forgot what it's called, but, you know, like, when they do the butterfly ink blot test, and they say, right, what right. is this, or whatever? Mm-hmm. They have all these tests and everything, basically, to say, what do you see? Do you feel gay? Do you feel whatever? There's a bunch of Georgia O'Keeffe paintings, which is the artist that paints the flowers that look like vaginas, and it's it's a lot of it's it's a parody movie like it's it's not a movie to be taken seriously but it's a play on things that actually happen in real life so her whole thing is how am i gay i don't play softball i don't do any of these things but i'm a cheerleader like that's her whole thing like cheerleaders aren't typically considered lesbians she she doesn't play any quote unquote boy sport she doesn't you know it plays on all the negative stigmas that come from what people think a lesbian is mm-hmm. so She's in the camp and everything else. And I think in the end of the movie, she basically realizes that, oh, shit, I am gay. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? But the whole point of the camp is to get the gay out of her. So one of the things that they do in it is electroshock therapy, where they strap you up and, you know, they show you this. And what do you see? And they're showing you something that looks like a vagina. And they're telling her that she's not supposed to see a vagina because if she sees a vagina, then she's a lesbian. And... They shock you, they shock you, they so, shock okay. you. Okay, so in the shock therapy, are they, they doing that now? I don't know the exact full extent of what they're showing you, but the whole point of it is to get rid of the gay. 
That's the whole point of it, to get rid of the gay. Well, I'm curious to know what exactly are they doing? What exactly is the methods and, 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 and the stuff like that? And first of all, to go deeper into that, you say nine states say it's illegal. Mm-hmm. Nine. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So, so this practice is still going on now? How? Yes. So, so the parents, so it's something that the parents would have to sign yes, off on. Because it's for minors. It's a sexual conversion of minors. See, it is not illegal. Somewhere. But okay. yeah, it's usually, well, of course, because if you're an adult, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Nobody's going to force you to go to yeah, gay but, conversion. But the audience need this information. Okay, well, just like the man who the church was like, I ain't gay no more. That whole foolishness or whatever, mm-hmm. that whole thing where he, mm-hmm. <laughs> whatever. They can pray the gay away. They can, whatever. Okay, no. So I'm, I'm, I'm asking this, right? Mm-hmm. So we just got to. If you're a minor, mm-hmm. your parents can can put you in those programs. Yes. So it's still legal for that to happen. Yes. And nine states deem it illegal. Yes. Now, do you have a list of those nine? Yes, I do. Tex- but- I bet you Texas and Florida ain't one of them. <laughs> No, it's not. Okay, I so the states. You, okay. <laughs> I, okay. I never see this. Them, them Bakabush states. Because, <laughs> okay, so it South says, Carolina, maybe, but I doubt it. Nope. It's, okay. Okay, so of course California is on the list. Yep. Connecticut, Nevada, New Jersey, Oregon, Illinois, Vermont, New Mexico, and Rhode Island. As, as well as D.C. Washington, D.C. is also on the list of states. Is that 9 or 10? I don't know. Whatever. 9 or 10. One of them. But those are the states where gay conversion therapy is illegal. So everywhere else, if you're a minor and your parents think you might be gay or they have, you know, condemning facts that you are gay or whatever, they can literally but this put is gonna, you... Uh, sorry, but this is going to cause more kids to to try to hide who they are. It's going to cause a it's lot of It's not going to cause it. It's already happening. This is just one state that joined the others that say this is now illegal. So if you're in Washington State and you were worried about your parents putting you in this program, you're good to go right now. They can't... Legally, but, they can't. But, it's funny because uh, it's a probably probably a lot of kids and a lot of people didn't even know that exists. I never even heard that there's a program for it. Mm-hmm. I know back in the day they used to do certain things and try to treat the gay out of you and treat mm-hmm. it like an illness and say you were crazy and mental mm-hmm. and this, that, and the third. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so I guess, yeah. It's yeah. not far-fetched. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean... It's crazy, though, because there are other cities that have banned it within states that it is legal. Can somebody, if you're out there, look up the statistic of the homes that is putting their kids in these programs? <laughs> it, of, uh, I guarantee you it's majority religious people. Yeah, but no, because I think a lot of those also... Well, it could be tied to the churches also because they yeah. also do like the conversion therapy within church. But the doctors, the from the medical standpoint, these doctors in these states can lose their license. They can lose their medical license if they're found practicing this. Like, well, no, what do... I'm saying is, it's the parents. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying, but I'm talking about from a medical standpoint because the parents that are doing this, of course, it's probably some some devout Bible slingers that probably in some cult mindset that feel like you know it's this way or that's it. There's no bending or whatever the case is, but. At the same time, they're probably putting them through the program as far as the church conversion therapy, which might end up leading to medical if they, the church doesn't heal them. But, you know, God is supposed to heal all. But, you know, that's another story for another time. But the medical route, like if you go try to go to a doctor or try to find a doctor that does that, in those states you're not supposed to find. No, yeah, we understand that. But those states is not the states where the crazy Bible... Uh, uh, um, thumpers is that's what I, I named you. What I named you, Texas, not on there. South Carolina, North Carolina, not on there. You know Florida, funny? not on there. You know, it's funny. I'm looking at the states that have cities that have banned it, mm-hmm. and there are some cities in Florida that have banned it. Miami, Florida. My okay. Miami Beach, uh-huh. Tampa, Rivera, Palm Beach, Oakland Park, West Palm, Wilton Manors. Ain't no hmm. 
Jacksonville. Ain't uh, no, ain't no, uh, um, um, Pensacola. We ain't got no... Key West. We got Lake Worth. We got yeah. Morton Beach, Delray, El Portal, all Broward you sinful County, people. Boca Raton. All you, all the sinful places that people go on vacation. <laughs> That's what happened. Bay Harbor Islands. All the sinful places that people go on vacation. Yee. Oh, Shadow said 83% are religious. Oh, okay, all right, I'm out. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. All right. Yeah, but it's crazy because I'm looking at the statistics. They have like a bunch of pie charts and everything. And it's saying 30% of LGBT population lives in states that have laws banning conversion therapy for minors. But I see that, but at the same time... <sighs> It's it's also a statistic to, uh, statistic that says seventy percent of LGBT population lives in states with no laws banning conversion therapy. So seventy percent of the people living in these states are kind of like, what the fuck? But it's for minors. It's necessarily for minors because, like I said before, if you're an adult, nobody can't force you to go do. Yeah, but you already therapy. messed up my life and messed up my brain yeah. from I was a child. Yeah, like I'm, I'm messed up now. I'm confused, or if I'm not confused and I know who I am, I'm a vegetable and I'm scared to to be who I am. Like it's crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? And... Yeah. What healthcare insurers? Oh wow, people were getting health insurance to cover this too. Yes, if wow. it's legal. If it's le- that's why I, I pause for a second and ask you that question again and try to get that out because that is deep. I didn't even like that's crazy. That is deep. Health insurance is covering whatever yeah so i mean that's what i'm saying like it's a big up but at the same time it's not because duh, how can you big up something happening that shouldn't have been in how place you gonna tell me again? i don't like pum pum <laughs> how you gonna sit home, lock me away lock me away in a room and show me pum pum and tell me i shouldn't like pum pum <laughs> 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 and they monitor their heart rate to see if they get excited when they see it <laughs> you, you know i'm gonna get excited okay <laughs> oh my god stop no no, uh, you, you can't pray the, the love of Pum Pum out of me. Okay. <laughs> pray the love of Pum Pum out of me? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, I have so much to add to this because I, I have a follow-up of conversation with my little sister as far as the gay thing goes, but I'm, we're we're running at like you, an hour right now. You should so. you should call her and have her on the phone. Jesus Christ. No, I don't... Listen, <sighs> I might have to cuss her out if I do that because no. the conversation we have in... I know, I'm trying to be, you know, an adult and talk to her in the way that she should should be spoken to and try to guide her in the way to think listen think openly because i literally as during a conversation we're having because she texted me back today funny enough and we were having a conversation and she piggybacked on what we were talking about and i'm asking her what is the problem with gay people what is you know what i'm saying what is what is the problem and she's just like i don't know i just don't like them da, da, da. and i told her she sounds like a racist white woman talking about black people like you sound like racist white people and she's like yeah but god made black people and white people and da, and i was like no she sounds like a racist caribbean person that grew up around the church or around the church people Possibly. That's how they talk. Possibly, but like you know, I said this is breaking my heart. Like I'm having conversations. Did she hit you with her. the God made Adam and Eve? Yes. Not yes. Adam and Steve. That's what yes. I'm saying. She literally put God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Adam okay. or Eve and Eve. Okay. And I told her, I said, I literally asked her the question. I said, Do you know how many people are homeless because they're gay? Do you know how many people are dead because they're gay? Do you know how many people commit suicide? Do you know how many people get killed because they're gay? The same conversation I have with, with yeah, y'all but every I, other week about this. But but that that right there she can't relate to because she's not old enough to relate to. You got to kind of hit her where... You know where she coming? She coming at you with the Bible verses. You come at her with something. Oh, I something did. Because I, I did. Mean, because I asked her straight up. I said, "Okay, so you're not supposed to have premarital sex. People have how much premarital sex before? You know what I'm saying? And it's yeah. in the Bible. People have kids out of wedlock, which is not in the Bible. You're not supposed well, to do. You have body modification because both your ears pierce. Well, you you wear mixed you sh- fabric. You shouldn't hate. She you hate shouldn't people. hate. I told her you shouldn't lie. You should honor your mother and father. All of these things. I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in her text messages like. Like, sis, you do all of these things and you do some of these whatever, but you sitting here telling me you don't like these people because of that? I was like, dog, you legit, like, you sound like racist white people. Like, you really do right now. And she's, and I'm just like, 
I was like, so I asked her the question. I said, why would you choose to be hated by so many people? If it's a choice for you to just turn off the gay. And she's like, why? Well, if they know they shouldn't do it, why they can't just stop? So I said to her, I said, if you like a boy, why you can't just stop like him just so? She said, boys, she gonna tell me, boys don't run my life. (laughs) As I say, you can't pray to Pum Pum. You can't pray. My love of pum pum out of me. That's that's just how it is. So I can't pray away the pum pum. Yeah, you can't pray away the pum pum. So I don't expect <laughs> expect you to pray away the gay from these people. I'm sorry. So on that note, uh, back to you, Poilus. Well, on that note, we're wrapping it up. <laughs> Today's show was brought to you by Pray Away the Pum Pum. Pray away the pum pum. Anti gay spray. <laughs> anti gay spray for your anti gay spray for right now. Nine ninety nine. Oh my goodness. For two. <laughs> Don't wait too long. <laughs> you got to do the fast informational portion. It's at twenty five ninety nine uh, for offer, shipping and handling. Offer excited. <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah. Um, so anyways, thank you for everyone for listening to this foolishness tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And, you know, as usual, every other week, please don't forget to follow us on all. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that playing at your wedding? <laughs> I can't do this while you're singing. Stop. You're going to make people cry. They're going to think about the little sad animals on the commercial. Cállate. Uh, Why they had to choose those dogs? Why they couldn't (laughs) clean up the dogs? That's the point. So you could donate the money. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, (laughs) So you could mm -mm, donate the mm -mm, money. mm -mm. Y'all exploiting (laughs) those dogs. Y'all exploiting those dogs. Clean them dogs up. The one with one one eye and the limp. Oh, my God. Come on, man. Come on, man. Anyways, please don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. No animals were harmed in the taping of the show. (laughs) 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 We're on all the social media things at Pointless Talk. Talks, pointless talks on SoundCloud, Apple Music, Instagram, Twitter, all of that. Um, like us, rate us, give us five stars. Keep on a bad mind feelings to yourself. Pointless talks podcast, specifically on SoundCloud and Apple Music. Y'all can leave comments, tell us how much you love us. And you know, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in. This has been a great show. Good night or good morning, whenever y'all listen. I don't know. <laughs> I remember your pom pom bring life. Jesus.